and welcome back to the internet and if you are new here if you enjoy any of my content i suggest you subscribe and turn notifications on so you never miss any video so further ado let's get into it so as you know the um <coughs> yeah um the <laughs> thing has been going around and there's actually some details i need to say to all the people that are not doing what they they should be doing right so on this <laughs> thingy um lockdown people have uh well not being stay not being staying indoors and actually have been going to rise like going to people's houses a lot and it's like this is illegal you're gonna get like fined so please don't actually go to people's houses you're thinking it's a joke but you could get fined for like a thousand pounds or more and that's really serious especially if you don't have that much money to even spend on stuff and you know you've got like them people that just decide you know i'm not gonna wear a mask when i go into the shop they come back ill and then everyone else is gonna have to evacuate from school which i had to do I'm not actually evacuate um Lots of um, classes have shut down, so why am I still in school when I possibly could get ill? I'm not ill, I've not got some sleep, I didn't get enough sleep. Of course, my eyes are baggy, but that's not the point of this video. Number two, we're actually going to start off, with, straight off the bat, with why they're saying to leave schools out further lockdowns. I don't know. It's so dumb. Do you know, like... How many kids have got ill in my school and they've decided to go, you know what, leave schools out of this lockdown right now. And I'm just saying, like, why are you going to leave schools out of further lockdown? But we're not leaving schools. So you're going to say, right, um, guys, just leave the fact of schools out of the lockdowns. We don't want them in because we don't want we want them in the school. But if we're in the school, then what's the point? If we go home ill and our parents are at home, they get ill, they are at risk of dying. Literally dying. And then they're like, oh you know, just come to school or we're trying to keep you safe. What do you mean? I'm actually getting angry. You what do you mean you have to keep us safe? It's school. Oh don't share any pencils. Oh well then don't send us to school in a bubble. Bubble bubble like a bubble yeah a bubble yeah a bubble with 30 kids from different households it's very relate very real isn't it and you know you've got them people that just go uh uh no we need to well we need to keep like we need to keep um you off um this um property because you know i'm with i'm literally two meters apart from my friend i'm not even close to him right Saying hi to him from the drive. And I'm just saying hi. I'm with my brother. And literally, he's just go. He would literally just stand there and go, um, how am I going to spread germs when I'm literally 35 or 200 literally steps? Well, I don't know how much math steps are because I'm not that smart. But, um, yeah, I guess. But I was really far away from him. And then... They just they just say, oh, you got to get off. They don't want you on. And literally, like, literally, they're just really annoying. Like, really annoying. So, don't trust anyone that do that. Just stay and talk to your friend. Not close, though, because we do want to stay two metres apart or more. Depends. And number three, off the bat, we're starting off with a hard one. What do you mean? So I'm going into school and listen. When I go into school, hand sanitizer. They realise that's good for your health, germs, but it ain't good for your hands. If you're gonna continuously making kids put that on their hands, there's gonna be a problem and their hands will start getting irritated. The skin will get irritated. That's the thing. You're just gonna make us do that. I mean, don't make us do it every two seconds. We torture book. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands. Not hand sanitizer. Jeez. Stupid schools, man. And then we've got these people. The ones that, yeah. And if you didn't know, I'm in the UK. Um, I'm not in America. Please stop. So if you didn't know... 
handy. Okay. So if you didn't know, people like on my street are very annoying and I can save that for a reason. There's this girl, right? This is number four, kind of three and a half. My neighbour, I'm not going to say her name because that, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure she doesn't want her information being spread like that. My neighbour, of course, she's she's really we annoying. Miss Karen. Miss Karen, we'll call her Miss Karen. So this Miss Karen is always like, you can't go down that road, I'm just saying. Shut up! Oh, do you own this road? Oh, sorry, why does it go to my back garden? Why is there not a gate separating that garden? So you're going to say, get out. It's my back garden, not yours. Get out my back garden. Out, out. Trying to break into my house for. Like, get out. You're not there. You don't live there. I can see them coming and walk past our garden to the other people's house. And I'm like, you don't live here. Get out. 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 See them walk past. Our, there's like a back garden part. You open the gate. And that leads into my big back garden. I have two back gardens. And you'll see a walk along. And I'm like, what are you doing here? Get out. Can't say that because that's rude. But like... Literally, you can't do anything with this girl around. You can't do anything with this girl around. So, number five. That probably doesn't even laugh. Number five, we've got. Um, yeah, we've got my road. I live in the UK. And can I just say to the, all the people that think they're hard, the proper hard, on the street, they wear black masks. And they're not down the road, they're kids. Like nine year olds on the road. Do some furry, like, some furry stuff. Like, talk about the furries. Okay. And then, furries. No, oh, I want to kick off. Can't. Anyway, so these people are kids, nine year olds, eight year olds, walking down the street with masks up, black coats, and they say, What? What? You are, you are. Is it, is it uh, like, shut up! And they're like, oh, you come here. Oh, mm. Do you know, I'll pick up a metal bat and um, hug you. Because, no, I'll. I, mm, <laughs> corona, so I'll go like this. <laughs> you put you in the face with your elbow. YouTube, do not demonetize this video. Just because I want to hit these people doesn't mean you have to, you have to literally, I'm not making any money from this for a fact because I don't make money from YouTube because I can't be bothered with money. I don't hate, I hate money. I'm street net with their grandma just like, you're so in there, your grandma's just having a seizure. <laughs> literally right, number five, no, six or seven. Can't remember, please let me know in the comments. These furries. That's for all the girls that are in my class and literally know my YouTube channel. You, sometimes, some of the girls, especially, mo can't say your name, you're not getting spread like that. You ain't getting clout. No, no. I'll call her, I'll call her friend. She's not annoying. And I'm going to say that because she's not actually annoying. Like, I'm not saying this for the YouTube downlines. She's not annoying. No one's annoying in my class. It's just, um, especially she just bees me to me. And then I, I, I really want to just go, you know, be mean. But that's all. For furries, right, let's get into that. Furries. I'm not showing that, Henry. I'm not showing that. <laughs> That's against the YouTube terms of service. Get it off! I'm not. I can't show that, guys. I cannot show what these just showed me. It's Damn. A so furries, you're not an animal. You are in a suit. Typically psychopathic. I'll get you. I'll pay for therapy. Therapy. I'll pay for therapy. Furries kissing and doing stuff. You sound of furries kissing. <laughs> ah! Get it off! Right, furries, you're not an animal. I'll pay for your therapy treatment, animals. 